guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Kim, this is Kim's Beauty Basics, and today I'm bringing you my favorites. So I'm bringing you my favorites of March, but a lot of the products have launched a long time ago, and some of these products that I've used for a long time and then just recently fell back in love with or like am obsessed with, so I had to share them. Everything's pretty much from 2018, or I've purchased them in 2018, so yeah, these are my March favorites. It'll be a mix of drugstore and high-end items because I'm a college student and I definitely like to mix it up. Just before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps me out a ton getting my videos out to other people. As well, if you end up liking the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when I post. Without further ado, let's get right into this video and I will show you my March favorites. Alright guys, so getting right into it, I have a mix of drugstore and Sephora or like high-end items. Just to note, I didn't purchase all these products within the past month, but most of them I did. But most of these products is like in the past month I've fallen in love with, so that's why they're included in this video. Just to clarify. Alright, so first product that I got here is the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Glow Lotion luminizing lotion. It's the new CoverGirl packaging that they've recently come out with, so it's really cute, very sleek, chic, easy. I like it. I definitely don't use it as my only moisturizer or lotion. I also don't really use it as a primer either. I kind of use it as a extra moisture layer to my skin. This one is shade 2, which is the sun-kissed one. It's a little bit deeper. I picked this up mainly because the lighter one didn't really show up on my skin. When I followed the Sandra Deluxe tutorial, she likes to add like a tinted moisturizer basically to add warmth to her skin. I don't know, it just gives you an extra glow basically. So I'll show you on the back of my hand. I already have it on. So I apply my moisturizer as normal and my oils and everything like that. And then I apply this before I used my primer. So as you can see there, it adds like a really nice glow. It has a little bit of, I don't know, like shimmer to it. Not a ton. It doesn't have like full out glitter, but it definitely has like a shimmer, fine, fine shimmer. And it's very moisturizing. The reason I picked this up is because when I went to the drugstore, it was on, it was, there was a tester of it basically. And I put it on the back of my hand and my back of my hand felt so smooth for the rest of the day. And it does have a scent to it. I don't, it's kind of like a healthy vitamin-y scent. It's supposed to be good for your skin. It has vitamins E, B3, and B5. Um, vitamin E is definitely for smoothing and softening of the skin. So I really liked how smooth my hand felt and basically I didn't buy it. I kind of regretted not buying it and then I went back to the drugstore the next week and I saw it there and I was like, I gotta do it. I believe I also found it on sale. I got this one from, I believe, Walmart. So I use that on basically the perimeter of my face and it gives me a nice glow, makes my skin nice and soft and I've been liking it and I really, yeah, I like it, I like it. So next for blush, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. So this is the shade here, this is Mellow Wine. So I love the tone of this, it's like a deep peach rosy color and I love it. These are obviously super affordable. It's from Wet n Wild. You know it is super, super affordable. But I did apply a little bit already onto my cheeks and this is probably as much as I normally would do it. But since we're here, I'm just going to take like a tiny bit on this like angled brush and just add a little bit to my cheeks so you can see. I didn't even put a mirror up for this. This was a bad idea. So it just adds like a nice blush to my cheeks without being too prominent. I'm not like a huge blush girl. I'm more of a bronzer kind of girl. I really like a really deep bronze glow, but this blush is really nice if you have medium skin. I think this is a really nice. I think even for lighter skin tones, it might work. However, it is very pigmented and a little bit deeper in color. And when I want to get like a monochromatic look going, I do use this on my eyelids and it works really well for that too. Super cheap. Love this product, highly recommend. So next I have a mascara and it is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara which has caused a lot of controversy and initially on my channel I was like, eh, I don't really like it. However, I have kept using this one here. All right, so zooming in nice and close, I will go through my whole mascara routine. So very first thing that I use is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black and I go over my top lashes and that's kind of like my primer. It adds a ton of length, but not a ton of volume. Second step is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It added a great deal of volume and a little bit of length as well. They do get a little clumpy, so I do run a spoolie through them. And I do not use this on the bottom lash line because as you saw in my Benefit Bad Gal Bang review, it does transfer. For my bottom lashes, I use my trusty 
L'Oreal Lash Paradise here and I go in and I add this one here. If you get the waterproof one, it will never transfer. So I do like that one for that. However, sometimes waterproof mascaras will make your lashes a little bit brittle. So that's why I use this one. Next, I'm gonna go to lips and I actually have the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Buff Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's actually what I'm wearing currently. This is the shade here. I showed it in the MAC Patrick Star video. It's a nice rosy pink and it's kind of like a nudie shade because it's a little bit lighter. I really like the Anastasia of Beverly Hills packaging as well. It's nice and sleek and it stays on like no other. I have gone through a work day which is like normally like 10 hours on the weekends and eight and everything and at the end of the night it is still hanging on for dear life so it is amazing for staying power and it's matte but it's not too matte where it makes my lips feel like really tight so that's one of my favorites and that's from sephora of course as well next for lip products is of the fenty beauty gloss which i have spoke on my channel before but i just really wanted to mention it in my favorites because i've never done a favorites video and i love it this stays in my purse every day it's either in my purse or in my backpack for school like i love this thing it smells so good it's like a passion fruit scent kind of thing going on i don't know what it is it's like some tropical scent it has a little bit of like shimmer glitter and it's so comfortable to wear i'm gonna apply it right now because i just felt like my lips need a little moisture so that's it over top it works over any lipstick basically and it just works nicely on bare lips too and it just gives yourself a little bit of a glow a little bit of a shimmer to your pout and I, I love it I love the smell of it and it's a favorite definitely one of my favorites that I have to mention is this Morphe palette and it's the 350 palette which I know everyone and their mama has already but I'm a little late I love this thing I did not know that Morphe shadows were so good people like kind of take it for granted I feel like in the states because it's so easy and accessible for us in Canada like this stuff is hard to get it's not as affordable and easy here especially because we don't have Ulta too so this one here I purchased from Showcase, which is kind of like a as seen on TV store, and I'm so glad that I did. I had a coupon for 25% off, so I purchased this one here. I love it because it has mattes and shimmers. It's so pigmented, but they did not tell me that it stays on so well. Like this is probably one of my best long-lasting shadows. When I put this on, it barely ever creases and it just stays on so well, and I'm really surprised. Also, I was pleasantly surprised by the shimmers in this collection because I wasn't really expecting too much but they're so pretty and so iridescent. So on the lids today I used some of the shimmer shades. I used this one here and I also used a little bit of uh, this one here and this one here. So those are the light parts of my eyes. I used a couple of the red tones here and some of the browns here and a couple of the deeper ones as well in here. I just really love how the shadows blend. They're super user friendly and I really like the pigmentation on them and just, they're just great, so recommend. Moving on now to one of my favorite makeup products to apply in general, it's highlighter. First I have the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter here and this is in the shade Rose Gold and it is lovely, I just love it. I've been using it this entire month I hope you can see that there. I'm gonna swatch it just on the back of my hand. It's so smooth, it's almost like a liquid formula and I'll swatch it right here for you. So that's it swatch there on my skin tone. I love it, it gives you like a liquid glow. This is made with their Muru Muru butter. It smells like coconuts, so if you don't like scents, please do not buy this because you will hate it. What I will say is if you wear powders and you're wearing a full face of makeup, this is probably not the highlighter that you wanna use because it doesn't apply that well with a brush. When I first applied it with a brush, I was kind of underwhelmed. It didn't really show up too much. But if you apply it with a, a damp beauty blender and just like pat it on over your makeup, it's beautiful. But if you use powder, it will kind of catch it and maybe make it um, separate a bit. So I don't use this when I'm using powder on my face. It gives you that liquid glow, that glow from within. It's very subtle, but you can build it up to a pretty blinding highlight. However, it's not like gonna, it's not gonna kill you, especially in this color that I have, which on medium skin tones does show up, but it's more of like closer to your skin tone, I would say like it highly recommend it i love a subtle highlight but i also love a blinding highlight so that's where this product comes in and that is the artist couture diamond glow powder and this one is in the shade illuminati oh my gosh guys this is so gorgeous it is a beautiful like champagne glow it has like iridescent sparkles in it oh it's so it's so 
blinding, guys. So this product is made by Angel Marino, I think that's his name. Again, I'm in Canada, so shipping is crazy and the exchange rate is crazy. So these products came into Sephora recently in Canada and I snatched it up. I actually snatched up the last one that is was there. This is the box that it came in. It's like a marble packaging. It's really cute. I like it. This was a little bit more pricey, but you do get a lot of product 4.5 grams or 0.16 fluid ounces which doesn't sound like a lot i guess when you say it back but you do not need to use much product for a huge impact for this one all right so i will show you on camera what this looks like because i am not wearing any highlighter currently and i love highlighter so i need to put it on so first i'm just going to use my normal highlighting brush i'm brushing off the excess it is a powdery highlight so you just just be aware are you ready for this are you ready That is with no fix spray guys. That is just like applying it dry. It is crazy. Now what I will say is if you have a lot of texture, which I feel like I have a little bit of texture going on right now, but it will, it will show that because it's not like a wet highlight. It is a blinding highlight. I'm gonna go over the eyebrow onto the forehead a bit. I will go onto this cheek as well so you can see. I applied a little bit less on the side, so I'll show you how it builds up. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I can use this on a daily basis, like just going to school and stuff. But the, what I do is I use a very tiny amount. Like I literally use just a just a touch of on what's on the cap, like which doesn't usually have pretty much anything on it. If you want to smooth it out after, I would just wet my beauty blender and just like dab it on there, which is my favorite way to blend in a highlight. I also applied a little bit to my collarbone and chest area and it's just, I'm just gonna do it everywhere, whatever. It's a gorgeous highlight, you could use it anywhere. I think for a night out, it is the perfect highlighter. It is so beautiful and I love this product. Highly recommend if you can pick it up at your local Sephora. It is my all-time favorite blinding highlight. I love it. So that's all the products that I've been loving in the month of March. A lot of these products have launched earlier prior to this, but I have been using them a ton in March or just fell in love with them in March. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer anything and everything for you. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, and I hope I see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.